on today's churchtechcast.com screencast show. Two ways to turn upper and lowercase text into all caps. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with some of the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So, with the advent of um, the Passion Tour, there are a lot of churches that are trying to emulate that look. Previously, I showed you how to put the box around lyrics in ProPresenter 5 and 6, uh, three ways to do it in 6, two ways to do it in 5, and I keep hearing over and over again people say, but how do I make my lyrics all caps? Well, there really isn't a, a good way to do it, but there are a couple of workarounds. So let's ho head over to my computer and take a look. This is one of the biggest requests that I get. I hear it over and over again. People say, how can you take a template in ProPresenter and have it make the text all caps? Well, the bad news is there's really not a easy way to do it. Well, there is, but it's not exactly what you have in mind. So. Let's take a look at a couple of options and you can decide which is appropriate for you. So you'll see that I have all caps here and you might think, oh, that's perfect, Paul. How'd you do that? Is that a template? Well, actually it is. So if I right click on this and then I go down to template and then I go to capitals and apply that, you'll notice that it does make it all caps. Unfortunately, the reason it does that is because the font is all caps. So let's uh, right click on this one, apply uh, a regular template to it. Let's say, um, the white box thing that I did in an earlier one and you'll see that it's no longer all caps. So what you would do is you would right click, go to edit slide, and select the text, and click on this little A up here and change it. Right now it's on Helvetica New, um, and what we're gonna wanna do, this doesn't have to be capitals, that's just kind of the obvious one, so I'm gonna Select that and that turns it into all caps because that's an all caps font. So that's one way to do it. There's no capitalize everything. Now it is possible to uh, right click uh, here. Let's see here. Let's go into quick edit. It is possible to go. Where is that? I think it might be right click. Yes, right click transformations and make uppercase. It is possible to do that. The problem with doing that is you have to do it one at a time. So let me show you a better way to do it. Uh, so again, we've got this here. So what I'm going to do is file export document as plain text. This is going to seem like an, it's an extra step, but it's going to save you a lot of work. So I'm going to do it as and can it be two, because as you can see, I've already been playing with this. And right down below where you can see it says export, so I'm just going to click that. So that should do that. Now that puts it on my desktop. So A and can it be two? I'm going to double click on that, bring it up in, bring that up in text edit. And what I need to do here is right click, transformations, make uppercase. So in that way, I can do it to the entire song at once. And now all I have to do is save it 
and then I can go back into ProPresenter and go from there. I can go File, Import, Import File, and let's go to AnCanopy 2, the one that I just did. That's fine, and that will import that. And you'll see that it has this ready to go as all caps. Now, of course, this isn't exactly the way I want it formatted, but that was quick and easy. And you'll notice when I go into Edit Slide that while it says capitals here, once I actually select it, it's Helvetica New Bold. So I can do that with any of the songs. So those are my two ways. I can use an all capital font or I can export the whole song as a, as a text file, transform the whole thing in, at once, and then re-import it. And I think that actually, in general, that's going to be a better way to do it because now I've got this additional version in here, and I can call that CAPS. And I have and can it be and and can it be caps ready to go. And so at any time, if here, let me put that in my playlist. So one week we decide that we want to do it this way. And the next week we can switch back to caps. So we can do it either way at any time just by doing that and while one at a time that's a little harder than applying a template, it's much easier than applying the transformation one at a time. Well I hope that helped you. I hope that now you're you've got a strategy of what will work best in your situation to make your lyrics into all caps. It really depends on what you're trying to do. If you want to switch back and forth easily, then there's one way of doing it. And if you would uh, prefer to have just different versions of the same song, there's another. Either way works, just uh, consider what works best for you. By the way, just as an aside, I'm not a huge fan of all caps and lyrics. I think it limits legibility, which I think is the primary um, thing you need to look out for when it comes to lyrics. So that's thing number one. Thing number two, all caps in the internet culture have come to uh, signify yelling. So it really feels to me like yelling. Now done well, sometimes it can look nice, but just keep those things in mind um, as you're formatting your text, as you're formatting your lyrics, that it could be that it's less than ideal to have all caps. If you like this content, don't forget there's plenty more over at my website, trinitydigitalmedia.com. There you can sign up for my email newsletter, subscribe to this show, and get the videos downloaded automatically to your computer or device. And uh, you can even pick up some of the great resources I have for you at my store, trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.